Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this episode I'm going to show you how to disable update notifications in WordPress. This is kind of a follow-up of what we were talking about yesterday about how to bring back the classic editor in WordPress 5.0 and I was kind of complaining about that there are currently daily updates to it looks like both the WordPress core and the classic and the Gutenberg plugin and it's one of those things I'm a busy man, I don't always have time for updates. And it's one of those things that I would like updates to not constantly show up. I mean, I know they're there, but I'll take care of them if and when I have the time. So sometimes I just don't wanna see updates there, which is why five years ago, can you believe it, I've written a plugin to address this issue. And I've written it because I manage a lot of websites for clients. And one of the things that clients get overwhelmed with is the sheer volume of stuff there is in the WordPress admin interface. And uh, that is why I've uh, written Zendash and you can get it from the WordPress repository. I'll show you a little bit of how it works, but I'm mainly focused on the fact that it can, among many other things, hide update notifications. Now that doesn't mean that the updates won't be acted upon, that they're, that they're not there anymore. You can bring them back at any time, if and when it suits you, and I guess that's kind of the point. So I'm making this video because there is a big community out there who would like to stay with WordPress 4.9 for the time being, until they had a better chance to get acquainted with WordPress 5.0, perhaps on a beta installation, and let's see if that platform kind of matures, and until then, we're all happy with WordPress 4.9. And the good thing is, um, I've I've got this here. This is a WordPress 4.9 installation. Uh, the WordPress team are kind of nice. They, they bring out security patches even for older versions of WordPress. So security holes are being patched backwards. So older versions of WordPress that haven't updated to the next available version yet, major version like 4.8 to 4.9, they get these point releases like these ones here. 4.9.8 is the latest 4.9 branch at the time that I'm recording this video which is in early December 2018, by the way. And they've patched a lot of stuff after 4.9 was released. And I believe they will continue to do so, even with WordPress 5.0 being out. Now I've got this uh, notification up here and it shows me I've got eight updates available. And uh, one is of course the WordPress 5.0 update and then I've got a few plugins and I've got a ton of themes that need to be updated. But perhaps I'm busy and I just need to manage my website and I right now I just don't want to be bothered with that or that or that. You know, these orange little icons everywhere. I just want to go, oh, no, 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 I just need to do my thing. And this is where my plugin comes in. So I've got it installed already uh, and it's called Zendash. You can look for it in the WordPress repository like you would with any other one. You just uh, head over to add new and then you type in Zendash. It won't show up because it's already installed. The latest version at the time I'm recording this is version 1.6. And if I activate it, nothing appears to happen much here. Uh, everything is still in place. So the Zendash, once it's activated, it's hiding under dashboard Zendash. And let me have a quick demonstration of what it can do. So it gives you a little explanation of how it works um, and it can hide dashboard widgets with these little sliders here. So um, in the dashboard, I don't want to see activity or WordPress news, for example. So I can switch these things off if I wanted to. Uh, but and also there's menu items so anything from dashboard posts media all these things they can be selectively hidden if you don't want to see them so that's why i've written it in the first place this is meant for clients who get overwhelmed with you know settings and users they'll never have to manage that or tools you know they may have to manage comments and they post uh, they, they create new posts the so posts I've disabled here actually when we bring that back in appearance so there we go but you know you can you can disable like uh, comments and settings like you know I, I had appearance is not showing up in the sidebar at the moment because I had disabled it a minute ago so let me just go and save all these changes because we're talking about update notifications so there's this tab here update notifications as soon as you go in here you can selectively disable WordPress core updates WordPress theme updates and plugin updates. So uh, it's kind of nice to show this on this website if I go and disable all theme updates and all plugin updates for now and say save changes then um, right now it's still showing but that's because I must refresh this page for all these things to you know come alive. So let's do that. 
it'll also help to just go on to any other tab right now uh, that'll work as well and then look at that there's no plugin notifications anymore and the only update notification I currently get is the fact that there's a new version of WordPress but I don't see any plugin or theme notifications so that's kind of the point of this if you don't want to see this right now and you want to take care of your own updates maybe once a week or once a month whenever it suits you then you can uh, you can switch this on so if you also want to hide wordpress core update notifications you can just head over to zen dash update notifications and switch that one off as well so save it you don't have to refresh the page if your intention is to go straight to the updates tab which at that point will refresh the page and um, then you may get some error messages but you do not get a notification up here so that's the point of this you don't you don't get bucked down by this so of course you know time goes by and uh, updates will happen and there will come the point where you think hey I wonder if there's any new updates because I've got 10 minutes of time perhaps I can you know dip into this at that point you can switch all these things on again hit save changes and then either refresh the page or head right over to updates and then they're all back so this is not something that disables updates as such it just makes them not visible to you as you know the busy user of a website this is how you remove or hide wordpress update notifications in wordpress 4.9 and wordpress 5.0 if you have any questions about this plugin then you know uh, let me know if you like the plugin then please give it like a five star rating or whatever you feel is appropriate on the wordpress repository and let other people know that it exists because i think now with wordpress 5.0 slash 4.9 thing going on i think this uh, this is really important that people know there is a way to not get bugged anymore with this and just hide things and clear out your desktop and have a clutter-free zen-like existence in the back end anyway thank you so much for watching i will see you next time take care bye bye